Philadelphia police and other law enforcement across the Delaware Valley report things have been quiet. Stepped up patrols in Center City, including the bike unit and other police assets, covered high traffic areas across the downtown corridor. Let's check in now with Trangdo. We've noticed a few businesses here in the Northeast still have their windows and doors boarded up to prepare for any potential trouble. But fortunately, concerns over large scale protests this weekend have not materialized. The King's Highway Tavern on Frankfurt Avenue in Holmesburg opened up its doors again for indoor dining this weekend, but kept its windows boarded up. A post on the restaurant's Facebook page explained it was per the recommendation of city officials to keep the boards up until after the inauguration. Law enforcement in major cities like Philadelphia and state capitals have been on heightened alert as the FBI received information about possible armed protests outside of state houses across the country this weekend. In Harrisburg, barricades, National Guard troops, state troopers, and police officers surrounded the Capitol complex in anticipation of crowds that never showed. In Dover, Chopper 3 captured three demonstrators with American flags on a march. Also a quiet day in Trenton, where plenty of police were in place downtown. Trenton's mayor says it was better safe than sorry. We don't want to see a repeat of what happened at the U.S. Capitol, and uh, we've asked all hands to be on de deck uh, for Sunday. We're working with all levels of law enforcement. Uh, we just want to make sure that uh, our buildings and, our, and particularly the neighborhoods and the people and residents uh, don't feel threatened in any way. Still, as a precaution, the city of Philadelphia has its emergency operations center in light activation in the event that something does occur. From Holmesburg, I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.